Welcome to our super podcast for Swab Radio, the first radio station for of Swab Art Fair, Barcelona's Contemporary Art Fair. Our second podcast is addressed to the emerging My Forest Art Fair and Seed section, and it's going to be an insightful conversation between the three galleries engaged. Together, we will learn what factors come into play for those who decided to start or want to grow their collection. Should it all depend on aesthetics or decorativism, or are the, there different parameters or research, such as an artist's career, or whether the gallery is already known or emerging? Or maybe is it simply our feelings that set the rules on the artwork's choice? We would like to open with both gallery and ask the first questions. And um, our question is that in a global art scene, how do you balance the discovery and the promotion of emerging local artists with the necessary, the necessity, sorry, of presenting works that resonate with a broader international audience, keeping in mind fast changing cultural dynamics and art trends? That's a very easy question. Uh, okay. Is it a yes or no question? No, I suppose uh -huh. no. Okay, well, see. uh, yeah, this seems to be a bit complicated, so I will uh, simplify it. Uh, basically, I, I do uh, strongly believe uh, that uh, what we are doing, what well, all galleries hopefully are doing, is uh, when you talk about uh, the, the global issues and everything like that, the big words, I think that we are all helping uh, with uh, um, what was showing the artists we, we pick. Uh, we uh, hope to um, attract as many people as possible from different regions, also the artists as well. And I think that um, basically our role should be, or the way I see it, is to uh, democratize the, the art, to, to uh, um, maybe try to make a better world by exposing people to art. But um, I don't know what else I could say. I think the last part, uh, obviously, all the, the answer to our question, it's super interesting. But the last part, I think it's it's the most interesting one. Um, expose people to the knowledge uh, through through our art, for example, or culture is one of the most interesting things above all uh, for our contemporary society. Well, one, one thing which I do believe it's still uh, the case, and uh, I hope that we are all working towards the change, is that art seems to be uh, sort of an elitist thing, uh, uh, kind of, you know, normal people, whatever that might be, uh, didn't tend to come to galleries or, or art museums. and. I just want to open it up a little bit and see that it is accessible, that it is interesting, it is life enhancing, and uh, and that's that's uh, what I see our role is somehow. Come on. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Moving on with Gallery after May, and uh, his, uh, here is our question for you. Visibility and networking are often significant benefits of participating in an international exhibition. How do you plan to use this opportunity to establish future connections and collaboration for your gallery? And also, what are your long-term goals for your presence in Swab uh, My Fab section? Um, well, we were invited to participate at the my, my First Art Fair section, which is actually our first fair. So we are very happy with the invitation and so far with experience. Um, for a young gallery like ours, we only opened like one year and a half ago, more or less. Uh, to be in a context like SWAP is very exciting and it of, you know, of course it offers us the opportunity to show the work of our artists to a, to a professional uh, audience and, um, and in a way you increase the visibility and the promotion of the gallery as a brand as well because um, I always say the same when you are like starting everything at SWAP, right? It could be just a business card or getting to know someone, it could lead up to a sale or to something more exciting. So um, being in this section and for the first time in an art fair for us is um, an opportunity that we would like to thank uh, SWAP for inviting us. And um, yes, is to get to know collectors, is get to know uh, curators, directors, and they get to know you and your artists. So it's a very positive um, uh, experience to expose yourself, your project, and the work of your artists to, uh, to an audience such as this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. 
And our last question is for the Kunsthalle host gallery. Uh, with the Swap Seed offering spaces uh, run by experimental artists, how do you meet the challenge of presenting art artworks that often defy traditional convention and can be difficult for audiences to interpret it? I think the kind of complicated to, to answer in, in, in the yeah, leading on that. I mean, uh, we as an art space think that the most important part for a young artist and emerging artist is to be visible. And uh, if there's an artwork which maybe has kind of a complicated structure or a deeper meaning, ever might convince people to just start to talk about it. And uh, communication is a process which happens in the very moment when the audience coming to the space and uh, yeah, can talk to the artist, of course, or can talk to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Conversation is the key to understand what is going on in the art space. The last part of the question is, what are your long-term goals uh, also for you for this section? Um, for us, it's the first time that we were invited uh, to go to um, to a fair and uh, I heard so much good things about Swap because uh, there was uh, some galleries uh, from Leipzig being here last year and uh, in, yeah, in preparation for the decision, we I, I asked them like, can you recommend? They said, yes, it's totally amazing. Like their atmosphere and I feel it, the atmosphere is great. So our long-term goals are not really settled yet because we are in between the thing that we are artist run space with an yeah quite uh consistent program and yeah i i, I can't say where the journey will drive us but i okay. think it's uh yeah to be here is a good starting point your projection grow, ah. grow the network and uh, getting in touch with uh, with so many interesting uh, people from around the world thank you so I have a questions for you all. I think it could be interesting, um, starting from the things that you're talking about. The conversations, for example, is the key and also the possibility to make people uh, at the center of a possible learning through art, culture and also collections. Um, in which sense uh, do you see yourself inside of these three key words? For example, conversations, audiences so the possibility to grow your audience as you as you told me before um and the possibility that this conversation could engage people to enter in a space that quite always it's a sort of an elitist uh space <laughs> all right we don't have uh simple questions but <laughs> <laughs> i think that yeah um I believe the gallery is, um, as an entity, is of course like a commercial space, but is way more than that. We nurture artists, and that means that we provide them with a physical location, but also a context of a platform that provides them context, right? So we work in networks of, uh, with collections, with museums, institutions, etc. So that creates like this sort of like beautiful ecosystem of the art world. And when it comes to uh, having a social and educational impact in our society, I think that we actually do. I mean, we are spaces that are open, free for the public to come and see like contemporary art so they can actually see what the artists are thinking about, what, what techniques are using, what ideas are tackling. So in a way, this educational um, 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 aim that we have in the galleries is very important for society because of that they can actually like see as a barometer of what's going on. So, um, and it's about talking, dialoguing and making it like more accessible. That's totally true. Yeah. Okay. When, when I think about like, what is our project, uh, like, when I think about the Kunsthalle, the Kunsthalle seems to me as a safer space. We want to, to create an atmosphere, like we want to get uh, 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 how to say this? I mean, uh, this space, uh, is <laughs> no worries. Crazy. I mean, uh, we, we produce all most likely, uh, solo shows because like 
as a young artist, you don't need the, the 100 group show. You need solo presentations. And this is a, it's related also to this space because our space is quite small. And um, yeah, so all these kind of things are like logically happen. And um, yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I did forget the... Um, <laughs> your answer? The, no, not the answer, but the question. <laughs> I have a lot of answers about the no question. But anyway, uh, the um, again, I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the what I think the, the role of the gallery is. And uh, without trying to be too funny, I uh, do uh, consider myself a little bit of a soft drug dealer um basically we introduce uh, people to uh art uh, uh some people which never encountered it before somebody brought somebody with him and uh, they encounter art, art they didn't see before we explained a little bit if they uh care for it and then uh sometimes more often than now they are coming back it's like for uh, another doses for more and um that I find very exciting. And it's it's both, you were talking about collectors. I mean, a lot of people coming to our galleries, I'm sure it's the same with the other guys. They might not become collectors. So what is a collection anyway nowadays? And people have limited spaces. So they can, is somebody who has five paintings, is he a collector or just somebody who makes uh, himself happy with, with art? Um, I wouldn't um, necessarily call them collectors. But basically, by by showing them, introducing them to artists, letting them talk to the artists, letting them explain their art, you, you can see, uh, or I can see, and I'm sure you guys as well, more than people get hooked and they bring more. So that's why I kind of said the you know, drug distribution. Again, it's not, but it's kind of, you start soft and then you want more. Some people really bought a painting from me one, five years ago, tiny little painting for a few hundred euros. And now five years later, they found something for something for 15, 20,000 euros, the same people. And uh, uh, I think that we have started it somehow, so. Thank you so much. Thank you for your responses and for participating in Art Super Podcast for Swab Radio. Stay tuned for the next podcast dedicated to the world of contemporary art culture and conscious collecting.